just got back from the post office and this was in my mailbox. I knew this antenna was coming because uh, Eric uh, Kilo Delta 2 uh, Hotel Whiskey Delta sent me a message about it. He sent me this and, and I felt the box felt heavy. I thought, what in the world? He told me it was an antenna, but check this out. It's a, that's a beefy like box. I haven't opened it yet. Obviously, I literally just got it and check, check this out. This is very thoughtful. Element cut for 12 meters. Yeah, but there's also an element cut for 15 meters and an element cut for what else? Like he's got all of these elements pre-cut, uh, 20 and 17, yeah. Or the counterpoise, <laughs> that's great. Holy smokes, Batman, 40, 10, 20, Uh, 17? Yeah, this is 17 by itself. And, uh, let's see, what do we, what do we have here? Uh, an 80, 40, 15 counterpoise. Okay, so separate counterpoise. So we have two different counterpoises and elements for all the bands. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. It also, he also sent in one of these things. It's a power pole splitter with a USB-A. That'll come in handy at some point in time. But thank you, Eric. This is very thoughtful, man. I appreciate it. Now you just changed my winter field day plan. So I have to uh, readdress what I'm doing. But thank you. I went ahead and popped the cover off on the transformer. So the toroid is about the same size as the one I have for the dude tenna. So I'm guessing this is limited to about 100 watts. But cool stuff. He has this epoxy in here. So celastic in. So none of the windings can move unless I do something stupid and, and break that epoxy. That means that once the antenna is completely tuned, it's not going to shift on you. Uh, the tune is not going to shift on you uh, based on where the windings may move to. This, uh, that's a very nice touch. Again, thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. I'm going to take, I'm going to have to take this out, have it all tested out, and then have it ready for winter field day in a couple of weeks. 7-3.